basically my name is Muhammad Ismail Mansour. I was born November 23rd, 1973, which uh, in Alexandria. I started riding at the age of six, seven. My first experience with the horse was riding in front of Andre Sakakini uh, around the track and sporting club uh, on his famous horse Gamil. And uh, basically that's how I started my life with the horses. I loved the feeling and I started riding after that. Uh, currently I have uh, three horses that I'm riding in Europe. Uh, a nine-year-old called Kanu, uh, a 12-year-old called Shamarta, and an 11-year-old called Anton. Anton, in my opinion, is you know my first horse, then Shamarta, then Kanu, coming up. When we stay in Europe, we're based in Munster, in the stable in Munster, and here in Egypt, of course, the Furusaya Club. And when we go to Dubai, we stay at the Sharjah Riding uh, Center. We start uh, our season uh, in the Emirates. We do a couple of uh, national shows, and then, uh, as was you know, the case last week, we had a two-star show in Abu Zabi. Uh, after that, hopefully, if I'm taken on the team, I go to Qatar to compete. If not, then I still go to Qatar to uh, try to qualify for the Olympics which was the reason why I actually uh, got together with Andre four years ago and that was the, the target. So hopefully we make the target. After Qatar we go back to uh, the Emirates and uh, we have the Arab League there. We finish the shows probably by uh, mid-March and then after that we give the horses two weeks break. We start April in Arezzo for uh, four weeks and after that we do uh, another until maybe mid-May, we're in Italy also doing shows, whatever that comes around, Catolica, whatever. And, uh, after that, we go to Germany and uh, we do the shows there until uh, mid-July, hopefully. And by then, if we have a chance to go to London, we go to London, I hope. <laughs> Basically, my experience in Germany, let me start from the beginning. I was riding the amateur classes uh, four years ago. I'm not doing too well, to be honest. Uh, last year, I ended, I mean, I jumped in Hamburg, the two qualifiers. Of course, I didn't jump the Derby because I don't have the heart yet for it, but hopefully next time I will. 
Uh, I did show the Hagen show, which was also a big show. I mean, basically every week in Germany you're competing against the best 50 riders in the world with, with their main horses. So that for me, of course, you know, the results aren't there because, you know, the competition is very tough. But I learned very much competing in Germany and, you know, to watch Marco Kutscher or Ludger Birbaum or Meredith or Michael Whitaker, you know, all these top riders in the collecting ring and how they walk, how they ride. I mean, for me, it's uh, a world of experience. And OK, back to your question, I think the biggest show I rode in Germany was the Hamburg show. Originally. <laughs> Okay, as per the current team, because I have an opinion about the team in general, but I mean, I'll answer that later. The current team, I mean, we have six, seven very good combinations. Of course, Karim Zoghbi, Abdel Adir, for sure, Yani are, you know, very, very solid, very competitive, and any one of them can come out with a gold medal at the Games. Uh, as per the Egyptian team itself, I believe with the riders we have, the horses we have, and now the chef de keep we have, I think we have a very good chance of coming out with a gold medal, whoever the team is. Uh, I mean, I was told a week ago that uh, if we go, we go, either we die together or we win together, and that's my firm belief. Whoever goes, I mean, we have to go with the best team we possibly can get. Uh, the riders have to do their job and ride the clear round. And uh, I believe, I mean, we could beat the Saudis, we could beat any team that goes to the Arabian Games because we have the talent and we have the horses this time. To my previous point, as the Egyptian team in general, I believe we're basically walking on one leg because, okay, Karim Zoghbi now is experienced enough. He went to Olympics, he went to the World Equestrian Games. I mean, he is, I say, our top rider now. But uh, one must not forget that there are also old riders like Andre Sakakini, like Adam Hamed, that uh, instead of talking about one team, you could very easily feel two teams that represent Egypt. 
And by doing that, the young riders can get the experience from the more experienced riders. I mean, I just personally think the management of this situation was not done to the best that we can do. Egypt has a lot better to offer, I think, than what we're offering now. One thing that I can say is there's a lot of talent in the country and there's a lot of Egyptian talent also outside the country. Uh, the situation now is that you have seven riders that compete abroad. I think we could have 20 riders that compete abroad and that way you can field, you know, for the future stronger, str you know, stronger team or teams in that sense. If, uh, you know, my hat's off to the people that are doing the, the job, but I think that there's, you know, you could be talking about a lot more people that have the talent that can do it in Europe. Uh, my advice would be is never stop listening, never stop watching. And every day in this sport you learn something new, so never get big-headed and think that you know everything because no one knows everything. That's just my advice to everybody out there. <laughs>